too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. And me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Half a century has passed since Carol Hollenbeck first starred in the Hollywood film production of Eden Cried and Saturday Evening. The author and once aspiring actress is set to read the play inspired by this life-altering experience, hometown premiere at Newburgh's Ritz Theatre, providing a sort of closure for this lifetime devotee to the arts. Fifty years ago, I had a Hollywood movie premiere. I was in Hollywood, strolling down Hollywood and Vine, when he turned and said to me, Hey, do you want to be in the movies? Do you want to be? Do you want to be in the movies? Then come and follow me. Like a fool, I followed. I, I was only 23. I was stupid and naive. I, I just went innocently. When I entered his office, oh, everything looked legit. Propping his feet up on his desk, he just pulled out a cigar, which he lit. And he smiled and said to me, you know who you remind me of? I shook my head, no. To which he replied, Marilyn Monroe. Next thing I knew, I had no time to move. Suddenly he was on top of me as we both landed on the couch. And, and as he was tearing at my clothes, I was screaming, ouch! fighting match resumed and with my one free arm I just reached up and I gave him a smack and his face turned red as he tried to hit me back and I lifted one knee up and I kicked him in the groin as he rolled over onto the floor he held himself down there it was obvious he was hurting and I didn't even care in a mad rush I grabbed my purse, and I ran out of his den. But before I did, I had to ask the almighty question, why? Why pick on me? And then as he squirmed and tried to rise, this was his reply. Because you're young, blonde, and pretty, and this is Hollywoodland. If so, this comparison to Monroe had to go. As I fled out into the street, I recalled how the sun was shining so bright. God, if I wasn't safe in the day, how could I be at night? And then as I watched the palm trees swaying in the breeze, I, I, I just wondered how I had become such a tease. Did I provoke this man to attack me like that? Or was this Tinseltown's way of a welcoming mat? Hey, land of dreams and streets paved with gold. Where are you, the American dream? And are you really, really what you seem? Oh, show me your real stuff on a dare. Or are you just everyone's worst nightmare? Far from the glamour of Hollywood, or even before girlish dreams of showbiz, my uncle did a show for me. My uncle jerked off in front of me in the, the sink in my father's uh, workshop in the basement of our family home when I was uh, maybe five or six. My dad had gone upstairs for a moment, leaving me alone with him. He unzipped his pants and started rubbing himself. Uh, I didn't know much back then, but I knew it didn't seem right. When he was done, he beckoned to me and whispered, shh, don't tell anyone. This is our little secret. Later on, when I learned about penises and sex and all that, I fully understood what he had been doing. So we see sexual harassment is nothing new, and it doesn't just happen in Hollywood. It's been going on longer than I care to count. 
in my mama's time, my grandma's time, and her mama's time before her. The generations and generations, way back But it's time. here and now, too. It's in my life. It's in my life. It's in my life. Sometimes men harass other men. Or women harass men and boys. And sometimes women harass other women. We all story about that. But the truth is that the overwhelming amount of cases is of men harassing women. White women. Latino women. Black women. Asian women. Rich women. Poor women. Women of all sizes and shapes. Women from all walks of life. And not just young women. We women have always been afraid to speak Most up. We've often been met with a wall of denial. Men and women alike have questioned our credibility. We have been taught that some of the responsibility is ours. Some of us have been told it's our fault. That we ask for it. That we must be babes, or sluts, or whores. Silence has been deeply ingrained in us because we fear humiliation and retaliation. Some of us have clung to our silence more than 40 years or more. The trauma stems from having no recourse. We have donned a mantle of both shame and silence. No more. Now is the time to speak up. Now. 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 I'm Carol Hollenbeck. I'm Jennifer Sharon Stock. I'm Carol Crystal. Lumiere L'Artiste. Deirdre Channing. Hi, I'm Mary Rocco. I'm Bob Brockotlieb. And I'm Bill Gallardo. Me too! We seniors finally break our silence. We finally say, me, me too. too! Me too! Time's up!